Hello everyone. In this series, I am going to create a NSFW that is not safe for work classifiers from scratch. I will show the steps from data acquisition to pre-processing and finally create and train a model. Later, I will create a Flask web service project using the saved model from the training. Hope you will enjoy it. First, let's get the dataset for NSFW images. You can get this from various sources like videos and all. I have collected this from GitHub. Uh, the repository link will be provided below. Yeah. You can use WGET or any other downloading utilities to download these images. I am using the provided scripts to download the images. Uh, the total size of the dataset is more than 500 GB and so uh, I have already downloaded this uh, it took me about a week to get the whole data however we are not going to use the whole data set due to less number of safe for images available readily and for the safe for images uh, I am using as UCF uh, selfie data set I never imagined that getting safe for work images would be much harder to get so as I have already downloaded the NSFW images, let's start downloading the UCF selfie dataset. Uh, then we will start preparing the dataset. So here is the link to download the selfie dataset. Uh, here I am using ARIA to see, but you can uh, use any other downloading utilities to download this dataset. Next part is preparing the dataset as these images are not uniform and also the NSFW dataset has a lot of noises. That means it has some images which are not available anymore. So they have replaced it with some not found placeholder. These are easy to fix as these images are very small and of the same size. So you can easily delete them by size, be it from Windows or Linux. Second kind of noise they have is much harder to fix. As this involves going through the pictures uh, and deleting those non NSFW images that is neutral images and it can't be automated unless you use some already existing model to detect these images. But in a sense this defeats the purpose of making a model from scratch. For this I had to go through these images one by one. Trust me it was not a pleasant experience as I expected it would be. After you remove these noises we need to resize the images so that we can fit them in our model easily. There are ways to train a model with non-uniform image sizes but for simplicity we will make our dataset uniform. We can do this in several ways and it greatly depends on your dataset. For example, if you are working with medical images, then it might not be a good idea to resize them without keeping the aspect ratio, as the aspect ratio can matter in this scenario. Say for example, the roundness of a cell might uh, matter in case you are trying to find out if a patient is infected or not. Now, for each domain, you need some domain expertise to pre-process the data. So here aspect ratio is not that important uh, but of course if you can crop these images with region of interest one by one uh, so, um, then it will perform better. So this will be your source path and this will be the path where you want to keep the resized images. This is the size of the images you can specify it here. Yeah. Also be careful here. Uh, you need to use uh, backslash for windows and as I'll be using it on a Linux machine I am using for our slash uh, this is to get the file name uh, you can uh, use the base name as well uh, here I'm using uh, OpenCV to read the image as you want to detect NSFW images uh, here we need to retain the color of the image so I am reading it as as it is 
so i am only only taking the images that are more, more than uh, 306 and above in size and then resizing it to 306 so to to make it faster i am using multi processing here you can uh, increase the pool size now we are getting all of these files as a list and processing in a pool of four here you can change the pool size to number of threads on your machine this is a small server and it only has two cores and four threads and that's why the pool count is four so for this demonstration i am only using around 46k images from each class as a selfie dataset from UCF only has around 46k images and the size of the this dataset is 306 by 306 that's why I am resizing my NSFW image dataset to 306 into 306 also he, here it is 49,000 as I might have to delete some images uh, to clear the noises so I have already copied this script to my Linux machine. Now also the download is completed. Here is the script again. So let me check if the path and all are correct. So this is my source path. And I have to prepare the directory structure for um, keeping the training and test dataset accordingly. So your directory structure should look like this. We should have two parent folder, test and train, and they both should have two categories. One negative for our neutral images and positive for our NSFW images. Let's check it. Yeah. First, I will copy everything into the training dataset. Then, I will prepare the test dataset from the training dataset. So this path should be the same as in our script. System. So let's run it. Uh, let's extract our uh, selfie dataset while this is uh, processing.
So we can remove the file now. Uh, let's check the file size once. Yeah, as you can see, it's of 306 by 306. All right, now we have to split the data set and test and trend. I'm using approximately 80% for training and 20% for testing. So this is the command I'm using. Hopefully the paths are cut. Let's do the same thing for negative data set. Alright, now the data set is ready. So I'll move this to my Windows machine. 
as it has a GPU and GPU makes the training a lot faster. So I have copied the data back in my windows machine as you can see here we can do the whole process in windows machine if you want now let's prepare the model 